Tēnā rātātou katoa. Today is Thursday the 10th of November 2022. Um, so I'm wearing the poppy today um, as it's Armistice Day tomorrow. Um, so I'm wearing that in commemoration of that important event. Um, today we'll start off with 12 oral questions to ministers. Um, I'm highlighting two of those questions. First of all, question number 10 in the name of Ricardo Menendez March um, and his question is to the Minister of Immigration and he is asking, is he confident that the current visa settings reflect New Zealand's relationship uh, with the Pacific? And question number 12 in the name of Rawiri Waititi to the Minister of Police um, and he's asking, does he stand by his statement that he wouldn't take off the table the potential for Parliament to take further action to support the police in response to a report released by the Independent Police Conduct Authority and the Privacy Commissioner in September, which found photos and fingerprints of five youth in Wairarapa were taken by police illegally? I'll be quite interested in hearing the answer to those questions. Um, the first item of business this afternoon is a debate on the report of the Transport and Infrastructure Committee inquiry into congestion pricing in Auckland. Uh, and this makes um, several recommendations to the government to progress legislation to uh, enable New Zealand cities to use congestion pricing as a tool in transport planning. Uh, and then following that, we'll have time to start uh, the final item of business, which is the second reading of the Honourable Dr David Clark's Natural Hazards Insurance Bill. And this bill aims to make it easier for communities to recover from natural hazards and to clarify the role of the Earthquake Commission and the cover provided by the legislation. Um, and then the House will adjourn until 2pm on Tuesday, the 15th of November 2022. Nō reira, tēnā katoa.